Hello everyone, it's Jiro Bro back with another video. Uh, today I would like to talk about the uh, differences between the components and with the labels. Now, these may seem, well, uh, identical, but they're actually not. True, they're both being used for um, the grouping of the issues, but the main difference that distinguishes a component uh, from a label is that the label is meant like a uh, global global content that can be used uh, throughout the various of projects right and uh, also in your JQL you can also use the label one label for example to display different issues across the different projects and this is also true while the components they're mo they uh, yes they are used for grouping but they are actually being focused they're actually being focused on one project specifically so if you're having like the components for the API for the front end for the back end for uh, business or some part of with uh, some part within the application itself then you can go ahead and you can use the components so uh, the another thing is um, that we have the components right here and I'm going to say I'm going to turn this off I'm going, I'm going to just skip this because the, the the components that were recommended were the components for the compass uh, product which is another Atlassian product so we're not going to be using that one so it says here this project doesn't have any components so when you're defining a component you have three things name component lead and default assignee of course the description itself it's uh, it's optional and if you also look at the other fields they're also optional as well so if you want you can only create a component and be done with it it doesn't have to have to have a component lead or something like that so you can leave it as, as it is I'm going to say something like API and for the component lead I can go ahead I can choose myself in here and I have default the assignee so I'm going to leave this and basically there we go I'm not interested in this for now uh, so we have now the API so it's uh, being linked with zero issues so far so now if I go back to the project so now what I want to have is components and now this issue right here has components added if I go back I will have one issue and when I click on the one issue itself it's gonna show the issues that you're actually having this component right here so it's it's been um, it's being filtered out with the uh, basic search where the project is this one and where the components equal to API now with the basic search what else you can do is you can choose between these two operators so this is a equals operator and this is non equals operator and as you can see for the components as well so this is the equals operator and this is non equals operator for the API and it shows this uh, one issue okay so those are components now let's go back we have a different issue in here okay so now I'm gonna choose labels and I'm gonna say code the front end of the website and I'm gonna say website and I'm gonna create the new label okay great now what else what else I'm gonna do I'm gonna go 
here. And I'm going to go with this one. And what else can I actually do in here? I can go for more fields. And I can go for the website. All right. Uh, and there we go. So that's why these labels are being actually handy. Now, what I want to do, if I go to all issues, if I say labels equal to website, whoops, okay, labels equal website as you can see from here we can see different issue keys there of course being there of course um, being interconnected with their different projects so that is the main difference between the components and between the labels all right guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.